what's up everyone welcome back to another video and today we're going to talk about the iphone se and why it's still a very interesting option for 2023 let's go the iphone se has a classic iphone design or as apple calls it an iconic design with a metal frame and a glass front and back it's also one of the smallest iphones you can buy with a 4.7 inch display some people love this design because it's familiar and comfortable to use. However, others like myself may find it to be too outdated, tired, or boring. We have seen this design so many times over the years, and it was first introduced on the iPhone 6 10 years ago. 10 years ago? I mean, just look at those bezels. Now, that doesn't mean that there's something wrong with it. It's still a perfectly good looking phone. This design is still beautiful, it's compact, it's, it's, it's ultra thin, and it's IP67 for water and dust resistance. Touch ID works great in 2023, there's just nothing new or exciting. The iPhone SE has a 4.7 inch Retina LCD display. It's barely 720p, so it's not the sharpest or most vibrant display in the market, but it's still okay for everyday use. If you're used to a larger display like me, you may find the display on the iPhone SE to be too small or cramped. The size of the display will prevent many people from consuming content like YouTube or Netflix, and it made me frequently switch to my iPad or Mac. But that is completely personal, and to a lot of people that won't be an issue. Color reproduction is very good thanks to True Tone technology, but the LCD screen lacks brilliance and brightness. This is especially noticeable when using the phone outside. It maxes out around 600 nits. This display also has a 60 hertz refresh rate, but the smooth animations in iOS will make you forget all about it eventually. So if you're looking for a compact phone with a good enough display, the iPhone SE is great for everyday use. This is where it gets crazy. The iPhone SE is powered by the A15 Bionic chip, which is the same chip that's used in the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the iPhone 14. This makes the iPhone SE one of the fastest smartphones on the market and a total powerhouse. In everyday use, the iPhone SE is incredibly fast and responsive. It can handle anything that you throw at it. From gaming to multitasking to editing videos, it can handle it all. The SE will easily outpace all the other budget phones out there when it comes to general performance. This phone is going to be as fast as it is right now for 3, 4, 5 years. Another big selling point of the iPhone SE is 5G, and once you have experienced the rapid downloads, you will be amazed that you ever put up with anything else. But the A15 is one of the reasons why the iPhone SE is still relevant in 2023. And if you also consider the fact that Apple has a very good record in supporting their old devices, this means that this phone is going to be great for 5, 6, or 7 years. So if you get this iPhone, it means that you're going to get a very decent performing phone for a good few years. The iPhone SE still has a single 12 megapixel rear camera. I mean, I get it. To keep the cost down and make this iPhone as affordable as possible, they really have to use the old design and not change a single thing on the outside. So it's not the most versatile camera on the market, but it still takes fantastic photos. But how much you like the camera on the iPhone SE will depend on the kind of pictures you want to take. You can get great photos from its single rear lens, but it's worth knowing that it shares the same camera system as previous generation, so the changes aren't that big. It also means that there's no night mode whatsoever and you should be prepared for not very good looking results in low light. However, in good lightning, the results are excellent. And the addition of Apple's Deep Fusion and Smart HDR4 means you'll get improved color, contrast, and detail, along with true-to-life lightning for each subject of your photos. When it comes to video at 4K and 60 frames per second, this is by far the best budget phone camera on the market. And it's not even a question, except maybe for the Google Pixel 5a, but the iPhone SE has incredible video capabilities. On the front camera department, there's not much to be said. It's pretty much the same 7 megapixel camera. It's capable of shooting pictures using portrait mode and photographic styles, and it shoots 1080p HD video at 25 or 30 frames per second. The battery life of the iPhone SE is average. It can last a full day on a single charge with moderate use, but if you're a heavy user, you may need to charge it multiple times a day. Apple made some changes from the previous generation and they managed to improve the battery life. But you should know that if you plan on playing video games or other power-intensive tasks, 
you might need to recharge it a few times a day. So is the iPhone SE worth buying in 2023? Well, that depends. If you're looking for a compact and affordable iPhone that has an amazing camera and it's so very powerful, the iPhone SE is great. It's reliable and familiar even if there's little wow factor here. But it's got some of Apple's newer improvements and it's not the biggest innovation. But this comfortable design delivers top performance, improved battery life, 5G, and general improvements over the old SE. However, if you're looking for the latest and the greatest and the large display and a better camera and great battery life, this, no, this might not be it. The iPhone SE has a great camera system, but it's definitely not the iPhone to buy if photography is a top priority for you. With its LCD display measuring 4.7 inches, battery life isn't going to be much of a worry, especially since people looking for this phone are not really into very power intensive tasks like video editing and gaming. But in all honesty, I think that the iPhone SE is due for a big refresh, especially in the design department. But if you happen to be interested in this device, then yes, it's a great choice and definitely one of the best budget phones out there. And on that note, it's time for me to go. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button. And if you subscribe, that would be so very, very, very cool. Anyways, I hope that you guys are all doing great and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.